Welcome back to Pop the Top 5, where we dig up Utah's weirdest old rules, from funny to really strange. Ever wondered about laws that everyone forgot about? You're in the right place. If you enjoy checking out these strange rules with us, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment saying, I subscribed. We will definitely get back to you. Now, let's jump right into the top 20 weirdest old rules in Utah. Number 20. In Utah, you can't fish while riding a horse. Yes, you heard that right. Imagine a peaceful lake, a man on his horse throwing a fishing line into the water. Sounds nice, but in Utah, you just can't do that. This strange rule might come from trying to keep the rider and horse safe, or maybe it's just something left over from when fishing rules were really strict. Either way, a pretty funny piece of Utah's history. Number 19. You can't use a flying toy to fish in public waters. In a twist on the old fishing rules, Utah has rules against using these flying toys for fishing in public lakes and rivers. This is to make sure everyone gets a fair chance to fish and to keep the peace and quiet of nature. It also helps keep animals safe and keeps the balance in the water. It's a good example of how laws change with technology, making sure that the peace and fairness of outdoor fun is preserved for everyone. Number 18. You can't cause a big mess. You would think that it's just common sense to not cause a big mess, but Utah made sure to make it a law. Basically, causing a big mess can mean a lot of things, like starting a natural disaster or causing a lot of trouble in public. This law is all about making sure people are safe and everything's in order. Number 17. In Monroe, dancers need to have some space between them. This rule comes from a time when people watched how young men and women behaved around each other very closely. Nowadays, it's a bit of an old-fashioned rule that shows us how much things have changed. But the fact that it's still around tells us a lot about the history and manners of the place. Number 16. Birds come first on the road. In Utah, they take protecting animals very seriously, so much so that they made a law saying that birds have the first right on the roads. This law shows how much Utah cares about its animals, but it also makes you wonder how they make sure everyone follows it. It's a special way the state shows its love for nature, mixing care for the environment with making laws. Number 15. In Logan, women can't swear. This law from Logan, Utah specifically targets women's use of profanity, reflecting an outdated view on gender roles and public decorum. It speaks to the historical context in which women were expected to adhere to stricter standards of behavior than men. Today, it serves more as a curious footnote in Utah's legal code, illustrating the ongoing evolution of societal norms regarding gender and speech. Number 14. Alcohol may not be sold during an emergency. Utah's approach to crisis management includes a ban on the sale of alcohol, aiming to maintain order and discourage potentially harmful behaviors during times of emergency. This law suggests a cautious stance on substance use in stressful situations, prioritizing public health and safety. It's an interesting aspect of the state's broader alcohol regulations, which are known for their conservatism compared to other parts of the United States. Number 13. It's illegal to walk down the street carrying a violin in a paper bag. This oddly specific law begs for context, as it's hard to imagine what series of events led to its creation. Perhaps it was aimed at preventing some form of deceit or disturbance involving violins. Today, it stands as one of those peculiar legal relics that prompt both confusion and amusement. Number 12. Advertisements may not portray any alcohol container in a way that would create a desire for alcohol. This law reflects Utah's cautious approach to alcohol consumption, extending its reach into the realm of advertising. By regulating how alcohol can be presented in marketing materials, Utah aims to temper the influence of alcohol on public behavior and attitudes. It's an example of how legislation can be used to shape cultural norms and health-related behaviors. Number 11. Pharmacies cannot sell gunpowder to cure headaches. This seemingly obvious regulation hints at a time when medical practices were far less regulated and considerably more dangerous. It's a reminder of the evolving nature of healthcare and the importance of safe medical practices. Today, the law serves as a humorous glimpse into the past, showcasing how far medical science has come. Number 10. In Salt Lake City, no one may walk down the street carrying a paper bag containing a violin. Similar to the statewide regulation, this city-specific law adds an extra layer of intrigue by singling out violins in paper bags. It's curious to consider what specific circumstances led to the enactment of such a specific ordinance. This law is a perfect example of how local regulations can reflect unique concerns and cultural quirks. Scene script, number nine. It is illegal not to drink milk. 
With a strong dairy industry, Utah's law mandating milk consumption underscores the state's agricultural priorities and the importance of dairy to its economy and diet. This unusual requirement highlights the role of legislation in promoting public health and supporting local industries. It's a nod to the cultural and economic significance of dairy farming in Utah, woven into the legal fabric of the state. Number 8. You're not allowed to fish from horseback in Utah. Reiterating the charm of this peculiar law, it underscores the unique blend of historical activities and modern legal frameworks. It's a whimsical reminder of the lengths to which laws can go to regulate leisure activities. This law paints a vivid picture of the intersection between tradition, safety, and environmental stewardship in Utah's legislative landscape. Number 7. Biting is banned in boxing matches. This specification within the sports regulations in Utah highlights a commitment to fairness and safety in athletic competition. By explicitly outlawing biting, the law seeks to prevent unsportsmanlike conduct and ensure that boxing matches are conducted with integrity. It's a clear statement about the expectations for behavior in sports, emphasizing respect and discipline. Number 6. In Provo, throwing snowballs will result in a $1.50 fine. This law aims to deter seemingly harmless fun due to the potential for injury or property damage. It reflects a broader concern for public safety and the maintenance of order within the community. While it might dampen winter play, it serves as a precaution against unforeseen consequences of a popular seasonal activity. Number 5. It's illegal to swear in front of a dead person. In Utah, respect for the deceased extends to the language used in their presence, highlighting the state's values around dignity and reverence in death. This law encapsulates the cultural significance of funerary practices and the importance of maintaining decorum. It's a unique expression of the respect owed to individuals, even after death. Number 4. You cannot change the weather without a proper permit. This law, likely pertaining to cloud seeding or other weather modification efforts, showcases Utah's proactive stance on environmental management. It underscores the complexities of interacting with natural systems and the need for regulatory oversight. The requirement for a permit reflects an understanding of the potential impact of human activities on weather patterns and the environment at large. Fun fact to start us off. Did you know that cyclists in Utah are required to make a noise before they overtake? This intriguing law is all about ramping up road safety. It emphasizes how vital communication is between cyclists and other road users to ward off accidents. Through this mandate of audible signals, Utah is fostering an environment of alertness and mutual respect among those who share the road. Isn't that cool? This state-specific regulation demonstrates Utah's dedication to protecting its residents with insightful, practical measures. Number 2. In Utah, it's illegal for restaurants to serve wine with meals without also offering a full food menu. This regulation ensures that patrons have the option to consume alcohol in a responsible manner, by pairing it with substantial food offerings. It reflects a cautious approach to alcohol consumption, aiming to foster a dining environment where alcohol is not the main focus. This law illustrates Utah's unique stance on alcohol regulation, balancing enjoyment with moderation and safety. Number 1. Taking the top spot. It's a quirky one. In Utah, it's illegal to have a street address that numerically precedes the number of your neighbor if your house was built later. This law is designed to maintain a logical and orderly progression of address numbers, facilitating easier navigation and delivery services. It poses a unique challenge for new construction, requiring careful planning to adhere to this sequential mandate. And there you have it, folks, a journey through some of Utah's most outdated laws. Remember, laws serve as a mirror to the times they were written in, and these gems from Utah are no exception. If you enjoyed this legal adventure, give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more explorations into the curious corners of our world. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of legal landscapes.